All right, what's happening, fam? LA all moving, still moving. Um, creating. This is gonna be to the to the sisters out there. Creating the man you don't want. I was talking to a friend of mine about um, you know, what people learn from dealing with relationships, and after so many relationships, you gotta question yourself. If you hear any noise in the background, I'm dog sitting. <laughs> So that's what I'm looking down at. Um, so what happened is, it got to a point where I was talking about you can't complain about the guys that you quote unquote don't like or don't want to see, but still date them and have sex with them all at the same time. Like it doesn't make sense. And you know, and she was getting to that point, telling me, you know, um, you got to have chemistry. So I was, she was arguing chemistry, I was arguing, you know, at some point you got to be able to actually date the right type of guys. And part of what I went to is what I'm about to tell y'all now. I said, you know, there are, uh, because it's so, because the way it make them people assume it to be, and some of the way it is, a, a brother that got his stuff together is looked at as like one out of a hundred or you know I say one out of fifty how about that but he, he's just he's not the norm nor the majority nor even looked at as let's, let's just say top ten percentile you say that they, they look at this as a talented ten so one in every ten but because of that Females are not used to dealing with guys who they don't have to argue with. They don't have constant drama with. And she told me, you know, sometimes women got to have an ego thing where they want to feel like they could fix a man. And my thing was, why would you want to be with a guy? Why is it so difficult to be with a guy that you don't have to fix? Like, he's not a cheater hard to be with him. He's responsible. Hard to be with him. He's uh, dependable. Hard to be with him. He's got his own house that you can move into and not you, he doesn't have to move in with you. Hard to be with him. He graduated college too. Hard to be with him. You know, and we go to that mode, maybe he's a cornball, maybe he's, you know, maybe he's um, a nerd. It's like, hmm, understandable, you need to be attracted to him, but here's the thing. In a practical sense, the cool dudes are not working for the collective of black women. They, Y'all dated a lot of guys who were cool and quote-unquote had swag and and... Oh, he was just made of something about him that made me, oh. And you know what? Shit don't work. That's the same dude you wind up saying, he ain't shit. He played too many games. He think he all that. Sex wasn't even that good, no way. That type of shit, right? So I'm like, okay, so how you gonna keep complaining? How you gonna want these kind of guys for these attributes, then complain about them on the back end because they ain't about shit? But don't take the time to actually actively coexist, cohabitate, converse, relate to, relate, be in relationship with the guys that are complete opposites. And to a degree, I started to think that maybe, just maybe, a lot of sisters just don't. Because it's too much like right. Because when she told me, you know, she she basically said the female ego wants to know that she can build up a man, and and I would think in practic practicality purposes, if you need to be with a man that you feel like you could build up, and uh, and if sisters have been doing that in mass numbers. <sighs> The guys you're complaining about ain't built up yet. You're still complaining that they ain't about shit. So even 
if he wasn't built up when he got to you, and if and when you tried to build him up, he still ain't shit. <laughs> so maybe you should get a ready-made built man, you know. But I think that's just too much like right. I think sisters be like, oh, cause cause I've been I've been I've been there. I I actually can say I have been there. Like remember when I was in college, I was I didn't really have it together. But who's I wasn't supposed to have it together. I was in college, and I didn't have it together. And girls was tripping because eh, he's in college, he's broke, he doesn't have anything. Blah blah blah. They had a million excuses, right? But ironically, I could get more girls when I was in college and broke than when I graduated and, and work and maintain a comfortable lifestyle. That's like a, like, oh, whoa. You mean, and, and, and I say that from my own personal experience and even some of my friends' personal experiences. Uh, you got your shit together? Hmm. And it's crazy because let's see how I can put this. Like if I would go out on a date. I went out on a date recently. And a young lady wanted calamari. I don't really like calamari. But what was the what was the slight disrespect about it was she asked me, did I know what it was? Now I'm paying for this date. This is the salad. Who in their thirties don't know what the fuck calamari is? So, so when she says this in front of the waiter, mind you, I look at the waiter. The waiter look at me, and then we look at her like, "The fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> you know. But she doesn't pick up on it because I guess she's used to. And, and it goes to an aspect of sometimes people are, 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 are used to dating a lower caliber individual. To the point where they're expecting a low life. And I really think sometimes they're expecting low lives because that's all they want to deal with. Not just that that's the majority of what they deal with, but that's where they feel they can be the head of the relationship. They, they want to be in charge. And I've dealt with that on many occasions where... Uh, I'll meet I'll meet a female who, with all of her accolades and accomplishments, she finds out that mentally she ain't really on my level as far as intelligence goes, and it's like, you know, like the dumb ones. And I'm like, well, too bad. <laughs> and it's like, mm, you know what? I don't like your ankle socks. You're not my type. <laughs> Mm. And, and to go along with that, let me see how I can use. I remember I got into a time conversation too with somebody who told me basically, you know, they had an infinite amount of time to get to know people. And I want ladies to understand some things. Like some of y'all do think like that. Like y'all um say stuff, you know, like you know. Why can't we just be friends? And you wonder why guys get older and be like, friends, bitch, shut up. It's because if you really want to get to have a relation with somebody, a relationship with somebody and get to know somebody and get get on that level with them, when you're young in your twenties and guys want to be your friends, you throw them in the friend zone and he's just a brother. He's my friend. You know, oh, I don't see him like that. And then you be reckless. You be dating motherfuckers that are, do not care about you at all and then you get your 30s, you might be pregnant, you might be past your prime, you might be right on the cusp of going downhill, and then you like, and then you change your tune. So now we got to test you, like, you know, are you really trying to get to know people, or not all of a sudden, did you fuck up everything so bad that now you're trying to do things the right way? So then it becomes that question, and you test them out, and some people are actually trying to get to know you because they re they, they've actually figured out their past mistakes, and other people are just using the same rhetoric to be a bullshit artist. And you read those out, talk them to the side. Um, I'm bringing this stuff up because at the end of the day, 
this is why y'all complaining about men because all the guys you complaining about are the guys you rewarding. Like I I I I hate to say this, but I've heard so many women so many, I don't want to date no thug with no white beat on and no gold teeth sagging his pants and you know broke ass and and, and you know what type of dudes I usually see them fucking with? Everything they say they don't want. And then they say, I want a real man who got it together. He got a job or got, well, I should, yeah, got a job and take care of his responsibilities. Maybe got a nice place, you know, could be a family man. And then, you know what they do with them kind of guys? Mm, it's just something about him. I don't know. He's just too something. It's just not right. And I think uh, ultimately it comes from the fact that they don't, you know, y'all don't want to necessarily be with a guy who who is not a fuck up he's got to be a fuck up because fuck ups are fixable fuck up fuck ups are projects fuck ups are guys who you could feel like i built that man i made him who he is yeah you know like you get a hulk hogan moment i'm super one i can't be in man that kind of shit right yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Hulk Hogan, I know. But at the end of the day, it's like that's your that's for your own grat ego grat stroke and gratification. So you can't pick. Uh, if if we went on a scale of, of nine to ten, if you picking, I give you if you picking sixes and unders, because you feel like you can raise them up to a ten. Why didn't you pick a seven, eight, nine, or ten? Like you, you relegated yourself, and then you teaching these kids to do to you, you teaching your daughters to do the same because guess who your daughters fuck with? And you be like, why? Are you, why is she bringing these old poo butt guys around? That's who she saw you fuck with. And then you had those conversations. Well, why are you ain't dating such and such? He was such a nice, nice guy. Like. He was a lame. He was a this. He was a that. And then, and I seen this part happen. I know I'm going a little longer than I usually go because these videos got longer and longer. Whatever. I see this happen a lot. There are mothers who are grandmothers now, who taught their daughters to date the the, the completely wrong. And then those mothers, who are grandmothers, find some dumbass dude. Or they find love at forty five fifty and then they that's they would they happily ever after, right? And then they got their daughters looking like Oh, so when I turn forty five I can get it together and find me a nice man that'll do everything that I said these ancient men can't do, but obviously this dude been doing it the whole fucking time. So my life would have been really different if I would actually got with a guy like this when I was 20. And the, and these grandmothers be knowing that. Like, if if she would have got with these guy that comes to save the day when she's 48 and 45 at 25, she wouldn't have had 20 years worth of drama. At 35, she wouldn't have had the other 10 years worth of drama. But no, she wanted to ride around town. You know, take, check on who he was cheating with. She wanted to call all her girlfriends and complain about the Misery Loves Company guy, the Misery Love Company lifestyle, and everything that goes along with it, and say they ain't shit, and and have every, your family and friends feeling some type of way about the guy, and he comes around and it's awkward, and then you back with him, and everybody looking at it. Fuck, you complaining about this dude for you? You still fucking with him. Like, what? And then complaining about, ooh, I ain't got no real man. But then, on the flip side, this is what your daughters go through. Your sons are going through the opposite. Like, I ain't got to be shit. Why I got to be important? Why I got to strive and do some great things? For what? Like, the bummier I am, the more pussy I can get. If I'm broke, living with you, I can get head faster than the guy got his own place now here's the thing I won't say that analogy as if it's completely true but the problem is too many 
people make it true. And I've had, and I've, I've, I've gotten some of my female friends asked about shit like that, like you know, you know, why don't you talk to such and such? Uh, uh, I don't, he just don't. Uh, it's not nothing about him. And then what happens? Well, I'm, I'm so horny. Well, why don't you fuck with old boy that been definitely trying to fail you and fucking with you and ain't nothing wrong with? You? He's just, uh, okay. So what happened? I did something I ain't got no business doing. What? I got drunk at the club and I fucked, you know, some people I shouldn't have fucked. And, but I was just so horny and I couldn't stop myself. Why didn't you fuck old boy? But he was just so corny. So you got a train ran on you by some motherfuckers you don't know because you, quote unquote, got drunk. Because you was horny. But the dude that you should have been fucking with, you didn't fuck with him. Well, you know, I don't know. I'm like, okay. And then 5, 10, 15, 20 years go by and they look at this guy's life and lifestyle and they sit there. I mean, uh, that's when the, and I got to bring this in there. I went, I went out with my homeboys a couple weeks ago to watch the fight. And, and the brothers I was with saw a lot of beautiful sisters. But they was on some complete bullshit, right? So one of my homeboys goes up to a guy, to a chick, old, kind of old school guy. He just walks up. He says, "Hey man, send me a dance, cause I, I want to dance with you." Now he wasn't trying to flirt with her. He wasn't, you know. Nah, he just said, "Hey, he just wanted to dance with this particular girl." He said, "That's all I wanted to do, right?" So she was. So what she told him was, "Well, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I might because right now I'm drinking and I don't know how I feel." They don't want the drinks kick in and I'm talking to my girl. And my homeboy's old school straight to the point. He said, listen, this is why brothers don't talk to y'all asses. I told you to save me a dance. I didn't ask for no bullshit excuse of why you can't dance right now and later. Like if you, you could have just told me no instead of giving me some dumbass excuse. But this bullshit artist mentality. And then when the, when, when. A guy like myself is watching these girls do shit like this, even though they're beautiful. I won't approach them because I'm like, ah, she on that bullshit. I just seen her shoot three, four people down. Don't even worry about it. And she shot them down for dumb reasons. I ain't even going over there. And then, but the guys started talk. The guys picked up on it real fast. That that's how a lot of the girls they, because we was like it's about eight of us. You know, we just met up to watch the fight or whatever. But so when we're approaching people, it's like, ah. Getting that bullshit. And then the non-black women come in. And then the sisters are feeling some type of way. Like, why are you always talking to them other people? Sh shout it. You shot one down. You shot three down. You shot two down. You shot four down. You're, com you're shooting somebody down as we speak. And when these guys gravitate to these other girls... And they're they're holding a conversation and enjoying their company. You really gonna ask that question? You cannot can't. But everybody seems to have this individualistic mindset of, well, I, I didn't shoot the guy that I wanted my mind down. So all these other people that I'm shooting down and that they're shooting down don't count. Cause you're supposed to know that I want to talk to that guy over there on the other side of the bar who's not looking in my direction. Cause like, sure, you stupid. You're real stupid right now. So, in, in, in one way, you can't have it both ways. You know, because uh, choo choosers are going to be beggars. You know, they say beggars can't be choosers. But the choosers turn into beggars. And then complain about. I don't, and I don't know why they complain. Like I really don't like. You chose your way into this situation. You chose to just. You chose a bunch of loser after loser after loser. And, and, and I guess I got to go on a little bit further. Another thing about that is this. When you have an epiphany that you probably have been doing this shit wrong. Take into consideration. That. Whatever you did that was wrong, you're still on autopilot doing. So, you're still having to, you, 
check yourself and rectify yourself as you go because even though you might genuinely be like I'm I get it you might still be doing the same shit that caused people to give you the side eye case in point I talked to somebody and I told him look he was on some bullshit so whatever so I just fuck it I ain't talking to you no more drop it. they get back to me months and months later like man that's that's kind of cold and I had to explain to them what they did right and then right after I explained it to them they went right back into the same bullshit they was doing that made me cut them off and I, and I had to say yo you see that you see that shit right there you're still doing it but she was on auto, autopilot she didn't realize and, and, and here's the thing even if you don't realize it at a certain age it's going to be taken as more disrespectful because you're too old and I know now. Even even if you're on autopilot, it's kind of like being with a dude who is way past the age to be on some kitty shit, but he just stuck doing it. Like, that whole... Like, if, if you go out on a date and he shows up with a throwback, sagging, like y'all say y'all don't want... Goes in his mouth, bumping some other shit, you know, smoking weed in the car, drinking in the car, talking about, you know, <laughs> you about to have a good time with me. And he's 42, you're going to be looking at him like, no, dog, even if this is who you are to your core, you already should know that, <laughs> like me and my, my homeboy made fun of these, these dudes, we was laughing. Eating wings and shit, watching a game. And they had these old dudes come in there who were some bikers, right? Mid 40s and up. These tattoos these dudes had was fucking new. And it was ridiculous. And it's like, this motherfucker know he's too old to be hit. This motherfucker just got that tattoo, had to be a year ago. Because that's a, that's a new style. And, and that tattoo right there is completely fucking stupid for somebody that old to have at that age that way because sometimes they're just a time stamp you know what I'm saying when you when, I ain't even gonna sh tell you what the tattoo was cause y'all cause if I tell you I'll be like no that motherfucker didn't and we just in a stupid motherfucker but he thought he was cool it's a problem and you know what people reinforced him thinking he was cool because even at 45 and up these are the motherfuckers y'all sleeping with I'm out, 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 I'm just saying.